So this is Lori Hammer with Take Back My Brain, and this is my friend and oily entrepreneur and expert, Julie Neiman. And tonight we're going to talk about digestion support with essential oils. And this is near and dear to my heart because I have struggled with digestion issues my entire life. I am diagnosed with celiac disease as well as both of my children. And I will tell you 100% of the clients who come to me have some sort of digestive dysfunction, which is contributing to obviously their overall health. So I love to talk about anything that adds support. And so Julie is going to talk about how di um, essential oils can support our digestion, how to use them, when to use them, and all that good stuff. So Julie, take it away. Thank you. So today we're going to talk about um, three blended oils that are favorites, and then we'll talk about a couple singles that most of us are pretty um, familiar with. You may not think you know much about essential oils, but because essential oils are derived from plants, oftentimes we've had we become familiar with them in a different form. Right. So I'm going to start by talking about fennel, and fennel is um, where's my notes. Oh, there it is. It's the fennel seed it has been used for centuries for digestion. And oftentimes we would make a fennel tea or fennel is, um, is a, an herb, a spice that you would use and add to your cooking. And so naturally we can, we can distill the seed, the fennel seed, and we can get an essential oil, which is just a very concentrated um, the concentrated part of the plant. So it takes a lot less of an essential oil than you would use of an herb. So oftentimes one drop of an essential oil will be um, significantly stronger than teaspoons and teaspoons or even tablespoons of the herb if you were going to be using them, um, you know, exchanging them in a recipe, say, for instance. So fennel is fantastic for um, Aiding digestion, it's been used for centuries for digestion, probably because it was grown natively in many areas. And so people understood that they could just use the fennel seeds. And, and so it's, um, gosh, there's, there's information back to the 16th century and even earlier. Right, where right. It's noted. So, I mean, it's been around for a long time. It's not a new thing. Um, another oil that I love for digestive support is ginger. Mm -hmm. And I think my first exposure to the power of ginger was when I was pregnant with one of probably my first son and people would tell me to drink ginger ale. Oh, me now, too. That's really probably a lousy way to get ginger into your <laughs> diet because of course I, I know better now, but at the time, um, I didn't have fresh ginger. I didn't even know what that was. And so ginger ale was my go-to when I wanted that soothing. Now I choose ginger kombucha. Um, that would be a flavor that I would enjoy. But so ginger is really good for soothing nausea and upset tummies. And so again, oftentimes people will add ginger to a tea. We cook with ginger. We made ginger snap cookies when we were children. Um, so a lot of times, uh, what is it called? A ginger snap would be something you'd maybe munch on if you had an upset tummy. Now, once again, those foods sometimes have food, you know, flour or sugar in them. That's maybe not, it isn't. Let's just be honest. It's just not yeah, the best for your body. Like this, Julie. Let's just, let's just be blunt. It's not good for your body. So you can go straight to the, the fresh ginger or to a ginger essential oil and get all the benefits of the ginger without compromising on those other areas. Right. And so ginger, um, again, it was traditionally used to combat nausea. And oftentimes when we have digestive problems, nausea is a common occurrence. We eat something, we get the tummy upset. It's like, oh gosh, I don't think I feel very good. There's other reasons why maybe we would have upset tummy. Maybe you, um, maybe you get an upset stomach on an on a amusement park ride or when you fly or when you drive in a car. I mean, there's lots of reasons why people get upset tummies. And so ginger um, can help settle that. Another oil that I love is peppermint. And peppermint is commonly grown around here. So many of us have had peppermint in our herb gardens for years. Mm -hmm. And um, we often would make peppermint tea and you can dry the peppermint and use it in your cooking. Again, um, it's historically known to soothe digestion and stomach upset. Um, 
as a child, I remember my grandma giving me a peppermint to suck on, a peppermint candy if you had an upset tummy. Um, yeah. So there's, there's lots of ways through the generations we've used peppermint, but you know, a peppermint candy is not going to be a good choice because it's either it got the sugar and the nasties in it, or they're putting an artificial you know, sweet or something in there. I apologize. My dog just decided to play in the room with us, which removed him. <laughs> He's going wild playing with his toy. That's okay. Oh, nobody's tearing my house apart. Anyway, and so a peppermint essential oil is a great way you can add it to a cup of tea. You can just do a little bit of peppermint and even um, honey in a glass of warm water can be very soothing. You can even just smell it. Oftentimes, just the smell of peppermint can be enough to soothe the stomach and, right. and settle any tummy upset. Um, and so there's lots of reasons, you know, why we could get an upset stomach. You mentioned, Lori, that you're, you know, you have celiacs. And so people who have, um, whether it's a diagnosed reason or sometimes you just learn through life, if I eat this thing, I don't feel very good. And hopefully as we grow older, we grow wiser and we just start avoiding those foods. But I think sometimes it takes us a while to maybe connect the dots Right, right. We don't, we don't realize that certain foods or certain food groups are going to cause an upset tummy. So one of the first things I was introduced to when I got into essential oils is the blend of digize. And this particular one is the vitality, which means it's intended for internal use. And so I would add a drop of digize underneath my tongue and it would settle my stomach like it. You know, we'd go out to eat at a restaurant and everything tasted great, but by the time you walk away from the table, something's not okay. right. Yeah. You don't feel good. And so I would put a drop of digize under my tummy. Or another great example would be Thanksgiving. Because traditionally in America, what do we do at Thanksgiving? We, we overeat. Right. We indulge. We eat too much. Um, and it just seems to be the American way. It's what we do at Thanksgiving is, you know. <laughs> and then we nap the rest That's of the day. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but so digize is a great one to help support that. You can also use it topically on your stomach. You can just rub it on your belly and it will settle an upset tummy. You can even just, just smell it, just like the peppermint. Sometimes just the aroma of an oil can help your stomach to feel better. And so the digize oil actually comes with a list of oils in it. It contains tarragon which is an ancient Arab um, spice. It's very common in the Middle East and it was what they used in the Middle East for a digestive support or digestive aid. It also had ginger, which we've already talked about, peppermint, juniper. Now, juniper is a digestive stimulant and a cleanser. And so oftentimes when we have an upset tummy, we would just like to get it to move on through. Right. Right, let's just right. get this over with. And then we feel better. Um, Juniper, our juniper for our essential oil is grown in Utah. And I had the privilege of being in Utah at one of the distilleries one year when they were, when they were distilling the juniper. It was really That's fascinating so to watch them, how they processed the plant and how it went into, um, you know, into the distiller. And then we got to go downstairs and actually watch the oil start to come from the distilled plant matter. It was really um, That's very exciting. interesting. And, and it's cool because you would smell the actual mulch to juniper when we were upstairs and it was laid out on this big concrete slab because it needs to air out before it goes into the, to the cooker. And oh, the smell was just incredibly strong. And then when they're done distilling, you take the, the wet plant matter that comes out of the cooker when it's there, it has no odor. Mm. The strangest thing to smell all those you know, shavings, that wood shaving and all the, the, the plant matter and have it have no odor. That's amazing. Yeah. And yeah. so all of it goes into the oil because the oil, the essential oil is the scent that we, that we um, connect with plants. So right. when you smell a pine tree, it is the essential oil that you smell in your pine tree. And so what, what an essential oil is, is it's just the scent. It's the oil pulled it's extracted. And so it also contains fennel, which we've talked about, lemongrass, which is another um, very fantastic for supporting healthy digestion, anise, 
which is a digestive stimulant, which is gonna stimulate the digestion to do its job. And, and then patchouli. And patchouli is actually a relaxing oil. The, the aroma is very relaxing and it, it combats nausea and aids in digestion because a lot of times when you have an upset stomach, it's cramping and it hurts and you want that relaxing to help you get through that. So nobody wants tummy cramps. No, that's no, not at all. Yeah. And so this oil, this digize will do all those things, which is really amazing. So it's going to help with the digestion. It's going to ease the nausea. It's going to help settle the stomach and right. then relax you so that your body can do what it's supposed to do naturally. Mm -hmm. um, another oil that's really cool is called Aroma Ease. Mm, I love and this one smells amazing. And it is five essential oils in this one, peppermint, which is historically used to soothe digestion. Um, spearmint, which is very like peppermint. It's in the same family, but it's gentler. Right. So it's just, it's tamed down, also a digestive aid. Again, it has the ginger in it. It also has cardamom. And cardamom is a prized spice in ancient Greek. Greece and Rome, and it was um, for indigestion. And nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> and then it also has fennel. So um, I think Aroma East smells wonderful. I, the really the strong dominant smell is that peppermint smearmint. So you get that real minty fresh smell. It's very pleasant. Um, and then the last one I want to talk about is Tummy Jays. And Tummy Jays was designed for children. And it is diluted for children, so it's very mild. However, many, many adults prefer it, even over the adult blends. And so mm -hmm. Tummy Jize contains coconut oil because it's going to be diluted. It's not a pure oil um, or pure essential oil. It's going to have spearmint, peppermint, tangerine, which is a digestive aid in, and up, in its own right, but it's also uplifting and refreshing. So when you have a child who has an upset tummy, we really want to um, help them emotionally right, right. work through that. And so it's not only going to address the tummy upset, but it's also going to help the child feel more comforted, which is great. And then it contains the fennel, the anise, the ginger, and cardamom. So it's very like some of the other oil, you know, blends that we just talked about, but it's going to be gentler and it's pre-diluted. So you could use this on children as young as two years old, straight out of the bottle. If you were going to use it on, a, on an infant, um, they recommend you would dilute it a little further, maybe with one-to-one -one with sure. additional carrier oil. Because with a baby, we want to be really, really conservative. Mm -hmm. um, especially on their skin. If you're putting it on a baby's skin, their skin is really um, thin and permeable. And so we want to be extra gentle with them. Right, right. That's awesome. So, so another thing I love to do with the oils, Julie, especially going back to like the, the fennel and the ginger. And if you're my client, you probably know that I've talked about doing uh, castor oil packs. And castor oil is, um, it's a great digestive aid. It helps to detox the liver, to detox whatever you're going to put over it. Um, put it over. Um, so it's a, an oil that you buy and then you would put it on a cloth, like a uh, flannel cloth, and then put a heating pad over it. And if you want to double whammy that, you add essential oils to that. So you're putting the essential oil in the castor oil, putting it over your tummy with a heating pad. And so you're reducing inflammation with the castor oil and then you're getting all the great properties from the essential oils too. So it, it's a lovely healing, healing therapy that I would recommend. Um, if you're thinking, well, the oil just didn't cut it. Well, let's try a little castor oil and a heating pad or just even the oils with the heating pad will often um, create a, a, a bigger effect than if you just were to rub them on the tummy just by themselves. And, you know, and sometimes we'll even recommend if you apply the oil, um, rather than using a heating pad, um, especially if you're going to go to sleep, we never recommend you use an essential oil and something plugged into a wall when you're going to be out, right? So take a wet, a wet washcloth, get it as hot as you can, put that over your tummy and then put a towel over it. So you're not getting your bed and your pajamas wet. Right, right. And that way um, you can still get that heating action without running the risk of 
um, getting too high of heat because some of the oils can cause your skin to be sensitive. Now you're diluting it with castor oil, so right. then that would be would be you know safer. But just you know, we don't want someone to end up burning themselves. Yeah, don't go to sleep with a heating pad. Like, it's amazing the number of people who do that. Never because ever ever go to sleep with a heating pad. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like people to go to sleep when you've got something plugged into a wall. Just don't. No, no. So yeah. we, we always recommend a wet wash rag because the heat really does help activate. And of course, yeah. when you have an upset tummy, that feels comforting anyway. Yes, it does. And it does help move things through a little faster. So um, in addition to the essential oils, Young Living has a vast number of enzymes for different purposes. Um, we're not going to get into that tonight because that's more Lori's specialty as far as those supplements and how they can right. help. But there are so many things you can do. If you have an upset stomach, you can um, address these this issue from a number of different vantage points. And oftentimes it's a combination of things that we're going to find will bring you the comfort that you're looking for. And oftentimes it's just learning to eliminate certain foods from our diet. Yeah, it's a multi-therapeutic approach. Not one thing is going to be the end-all be-all. Yep. And so it's a process. And I think all of us start, we just, we don't know. We don't know what we need to do. And so we just start trying different things until we find a solution that works for us. So anyway, but enzymes are certainly something to consider as well as food elimination diets. So there's lots of different avenues. Probiotic foods. Yes. Fermented food. I mean, there's so, I mean, we can really get deep into the weeds here about digestion, but these are some oils that will maybe help you as you delve into some of those other areas. Right. So if you have questions on these, post them below. Julie, you're going to post your information below where they can find you. Yep. Yep. Awesome. And then let us know if you have a specific topic you would like us to, to talk on um, the next time we have the Lori and Julie Oily Show. So. Thanks for joining us. Everybody have a great night. God bless.